Play it smart. That's good advice for everybody. It's also the name of a new program for high school athletes. One that doesn't just measure success in yards and TDs, but also in grades, SAT scores, and diplomas. Hi, I'm Tiki Barber, running back for the New York Giants. I'm here to bring you the remarkable story of the Orange High School Tornadoes, participants in the Play It Smart program that was developed by the National Football Foundation with a great deal of help from Springfield College. Now the NFL has become a key partner in the effort as well. The idea behind Play It Smart is to give kids from disadvantaged areas a new kind of coach, an academic coach, someone who can work with them as individuals and as a team to level the academic playing field. Well, as you can imagine, when the kids were told about this program, they were a little bit skeptical. When you're from a tough neighborhood, you tend to be wary of big promises. But so far, the results from this program have exceeded everyone's expectations. Grades and SAT scores are way up, and Play It Smart kids are going on to college at twice the rate of their peers. Yes, we're really gaining yardage here. In fact, Play It Smart has trained and placed academic coaches in over 40 high school programs nationwide, football programs like the one you're about to see now. So let's join the Tornadoes as they gear up for their big game against arch rival Del Barton. This isn't just another football story, it's the game of their lives. To be able to have an opportunity to come out here and, and speak with the kids and, and try to give them a little insight is basically a, a blessing. Just to let them know, you know, they don't have to walk it alone. And uh, they've got a support factor through Play It Smart and Orange High School and all of the other high schools that are involved with the Play It Smart program. Instead of getting C's and B's, I got A, he made me work for A's and B's. You know, I'd probably be locked up or something right now if I wasn't playing football. You don't want to sit by and watch life go by. You don't want to sit by and watch a moment like this disappear from you. You want to get out there tonight and land on the line and say what you did. As long as y'all want to win as a team, we got this, fellas. I'm telling you, leave all that skin stuff, all that mighty tail part, that don't mean nothing. I'm anxious to see how it's going to go, how they're going to come out and attack us. So I just want to see how the team responds. I know I'm going to be ready, for me, myself. I'm going to be ready. I like, I like put, being put in pressure situations. Orange High School, New Jersey. Two games they won in five years. Last year they were in the state playoffs. Orange High School, New Jersey. Two years ago, one player from that team went to college. Last year, ten players went to college. I feel very emotional about this program because it works. They're doing very well so far. Got them all right. Not one wrong. In a supportive team setting, individual players can set their sights higher. Everywhere the program is running has made a remarkable and measurable impact on young lives. My freshman year, I was off the meat rack. I used to go to class. I used to go to class, but I ain't just do my do up to my potential. Then I got in the program, just changed a lot of things, you know what I mean? Because all the coaches is like a father to you. They help you with things, whatever you need help, they're gonna be there to help you. A Brie is classified, learning disabled. The amazing part, a Brie is also the quarterback of Orange High School, which runs a very complex offense. Here's someone that can lead, someone that has the ability to organize a lot of information. So there's a vehicle there, and that tells me he can be taught, he can learn. Now we just have to tweak the interest factor. So I have very high hopes for a Brie. All we have to do now is take Del Barton. Gonna do that for us, Abri? Yeah. It's not too many of us that have went to college. That's why it's so important that my children make it to college. I just want my son to be able to get the educational feed as well as the athlete part of it. Just don't place me here because I'm a quarterback and I can throw a ball. 
have me here to make this stronger so I know that I can build my life better. You know what I'm saying? Family, well, family type. Neighborhood is so so, you know. Well, with a free, he doesn't really be out there, you know. His thing is, he goes to school, he goes to football practice. I don't have to worry about him because I know just where he be at. For play it smart coaches and players, hard work has paid off. Grades and SAT scores are way up, and the graduation rate is 96% for the entire program. The big news is that four out of five of the kids who participate are going on to higher education, which is something that many of them never dreamed possible. Red is one of the most focused young men that I've had an opportunity to meet. I said goes real high for myself so I could perform up to the level that I know I could perform up to. Oh yeah, these are my goals right here. <laughs> 1200 SATs, 3.0 GPA. You know, I'm always proud of him. Always pushing him. He tells me I stress him, but I'm only trying to make him push himself because he can do it and he knows he can do it. Yeah, I gotta keep the grades up. Without the grades, then it's basically just an athlete, or if people say you're a jock. I wanna just beat all that, get away from all the, the uh, stereotypes about athletes being stupid and they don't know what they're doing and all they know is football. You know what I mean, if I, got my, if I have 3.0 GPA and I have 1,200 on my SAT, that's that, that just to tell you something right there. For a lot of the kids, I think Play Smart has been an excellent program. Um, only because without the program, I think some of the kids would not have made it. Play It Smart is a program that works for all kids. The underachievers, the drifters, those who are at risk for drugs, crime, or dropping out, as well as the stars and the scholars. It works in the cities as well as in the suburbs and has even helped pull communities together. It's about the discipline. It's about being part of the community. It's about having respect and making sure that you go to all your classes and you do well. It's not just about okay. football. We as the adults in our communities, we have to step up and we have to be role models for them. Because they had the support system behind them, they, they had the experience of uh, Play It Smart and then they had the parents of the, the football team that, behind them. And we never let up. We never stop. Without football, I don't know what half of us are probably be doing, because a lot of us come from sections of Orange where there's not really too much to do. We call him Four Acres around here. He's a big man. Four Acres. Half of them over there right now that I hang with locked up, so I'm glad I wasn't in the chains with them like that. So I like playing ball. Keeps you out of trouble with that. She's like, right now, I got something to do. Go down to the stadium, practice, be about something myself, instead of be out there just chilling with them. A lot of us do, do football, going to college, and that's going to determine our life right there. Even if you do your homework, everybody reports here for study hall. Even if you did your math tutor. Yeah. All right, so if you've done your homework, again, I want y'all coming with no books. We have a mandatory study hall. And, um, you know, during that study hall time, uh, some of the students that may be having uh, some problems in various subject matters, we try and identify that subject matter and then try to orchestrate uh, the appropriate help. Coach Presby, he taught me without realizing it, well, without me realizing it, how to study, because by every day, study hall after, at three o'clock, after um, school, before practice, every single day from three to four, you're gonna study. That's a good habit to have. It's not set up like a classroom, it's set up like a locker room, but uh, it transforms for that time to serve as a study hall, and it's kind of like their sanctuary. This program is a program that holistically works with that student athlete, not just for the football season, but for the entire school year, uh, 
on those academic and personal development needs. Um, playing smart prepares you. you know what I mean, so when you like got study hall and it help you a lot with your work, and it shows you you could be a leader yourself. The reward of the program is having an academic coach with that team for the entire school year. What makes Play It Smart different is a new kind of coach, an academic coach, who works with each player to set personal goals and the team to set team goals, and then helps them find the resources within themselves or from the outside to achieve those goals. As we've expanded, we have designed a one-week training seminar and we bring in all of our new academic coaches. We have them work with returning academic coaches. And, and the goal is to have our new group of academic coaches experience some of the same things that we're asking the student athletes to go through. Coaches, y'all ready to start? We're ready to start. We're ready to start. Coaches, y'all ready to start? We're ready to start. We're ready to start. What do we do? We play smart. What do we do? We play smart. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. That's right. What are you going to do in your high school, in your Play It Smart program, to continue to help these kids? Help them overcome their challenge. That's our challenge now. We're trying to, you know, really reach the lives of these young guys. Uh, uh, they're going through a critical stage in their lives. And, um, you know, we believe if we can catch them early enough, we can really, you know, plant a seed for their future. Do not get discouraged. Because every day you're in there, you're helping somebody out. And every day you're in there, that's going to be a joy. So just understand that no matter what happens, you guys are going to make a difference. I focus on um, helping the football players in my high school uh, increase their grades, increase their SAT scores. So when I walked into Patterson on Monday, quarterback came running up to me and I was ready for him to tell me about his game-winning touchdown. And he pulled out of his pocket, crumpled up piece of paper, and he shows me his physics test that had a B on it. The kids, once they see that you really believe in them and that you really care about them, they come around. Play It Smart started out in four schools and is currently in over 40 schools nationwide. The program focuses on providing help and support to students so they feel special and develop a belief in their own abilities. It exposes them to the possibilities open to them as young adults. The job is to take each player's dedication and passion for the game and turn it into a catalyst for scholastic and career development and community service. In our world history, he's got an A. Straight A's. South Coach, you're good. I'm telling you. You're the man. Made all the difference in the world. One of the most difficult moments for head coach Randy Daniels happened in 1997 when college-bound quarterback Willie Graves was killed in a drive-by shooting. It was the kind of incident that can also destroy a football program. Helping his players through this and keeping the Tornado's spirit alive in the face of this tragedy says a lot about coach Randy Daniels and the players who responded to him. It's why before every game, all the players gather around to remember number three and how valuable each life really is. I just felt so strongly that this is where the program should be uh, because of Coach Daniels, because of his energy, because of, because of his commitment, because of his passion. I mean, when he talks about the football program, he wasn't just talking about football. He was talking about, you know, creating something that would really impact the lives of, of the students that were involved with the team. If you want to be a championship team, you got to trust and you got to believe. You can't be undermining. You can't be undermining the staff. You can't be undermining your players. You can't do that. You got to be a team player. You can't be for self. You got to be for team. I think a team means not, not just a bunch of people together with the same uniform. I don't know, that's not a team at all. I think it's people who, like, together, who come together 
as one and work as one unit and understand that they all need each other for to have success. You talk about how a program can be successful. The people involved have to be committed to that and the players have to be committed to that. And when they see the coach's commitment, I think that's contagious. I know it's at stake right here. I know I gotta step it up tomorrow. I know I gotta go home, concentrate. I couldn't sleep last night. I was thinking about this game. Then the whole week I was just thinking about this game because I know every time I'm hearing coach said, man, you ain't playing to your potential. I'm hearing all this, that, you know what I mean? I wanna step it up. Y'all come in here tomorrow. Y'all be focused. Y'all come in here. Y'all coming together as a team. It's the main thing. As long as y'all wanna win as a team, we got this, fellas. I'm telling you, leave all that scared stuff, all that mighty Del part, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Don't care who they is, that don't mean nothing. All right, they another team. That's all it is. Last year, okay, they got up. We walking off on the field like that. It ain't going to be none of that this year. Y'all step it up. We win this game, we beat anybody. Del Barton's coming in 4-0. Oh. We're coming in 3-2. Tuition for the Del Barton is about $16,000 a year, so you know they can give athletic scholarships and recruit players. Whereas we have four or five coaches on any given year, Del Barton might have 12 to 15 coaches on their sideline. And here at Orange, I think that uh, Coach Daniels has has scraped and done whatever he has to make this program on that level. We have a classic here in Orange. Number two, Del Barton, 35, Orange High School, 35. plenty of more games like this. And if you put your head down every game, you won't be a winner. We didn't give up in overtime. We played football in overtime. We played orange football. You outplayed them today. You outplayed the number two team in the state. But I don't want you to leave here with your head down. You got the people in the community. You got to play a smart program. You're a fortunate group of guys. I'm telling you, you should check. I don't really think you know what's going on this year fully. When you look back one day, you'll see that. Now look, I'm telling you right now, I don't want nobody to be late tomorrow for the SAT. I'm, I'm, I am tell you, it's going to put a bad taste in our mouth for somebody to come in there late tomorrow. Because it's going to show a sign of a little quitting and a little losing right there. Now we got SATs at 9 o'clock. Any other questions? All right, let's go. Let's get a break. Hey, Red, Red. 
You break it, son. You did a hell of a game for us. I tell you that right now. You, you hold your head up, too. I'm telling you that right now. Everybody up front. I can about to die. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two sacks is once again. It's 30 minutes for the first, 30 minutes for the second. So I'm trying to see what the, what what things you guys need help in. So let's do it after this. Let's do it after this. I always think like, what if I caught that pass? You know, then what would happen? I always think that. Being mad. A in uh, sociology. So we got one C. I one C. That's all right, though. Still the honor roll. <laughs> Just think smart about it, you know, from, from your books to your social life, your own life, to um, out there on the field playing smart. At this time, Mr. Gales and I are honored to present to you the class of 2001. There was a lot of doubt saying that I wasn't going to make it today, but I'm here now. I'm about to graduate. I'm going to go over everything. So. If I was playing smart, I would probably be locked up, so I ain't locked up. <laughs> I'm about to graduate, play smart. The graduation thing, I'm, I'm excited about that because, uh, you know, just to see the guys came through the program and graduated, you know, we figure nine out of ten guys, and you guys gonna go on to go to college. So that's what I'm excited about. That guys that probably wouldn't even thought about college in that extent. Like, I know a guy like Bree never thought about college, but just being here kind of rubbed off on him. The Play It Smart program you've seen in action is currently in more than 40 schools nationwide and has plans to expand the 200 schools by 2005. Please support the commitment that Play It Smart kids are making to their teams and to their own lives. If you'd like to find out how to bring Play It Smart to your area, contact Jim Presby, Play It Smart Director at 800-486-1865. That's 800-486-1865. Or if you'd like to find out more about the program, visit playitsmart.org online. Thanks for watching. And remember, play it smart.